Well, planning on moving to a new place, whether you're moving into a new home or downsizing to an apartment or condo, packing can bring a lot of stress, especially deciding what to keep, what to throw out, and what to donate. Well, Melanie Pump, CFO from You Move Me, is here with some helpful tips. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. This is a trend we're seeing during the pandemic for various reasons, whether it's the commute or downsizing for retirement, but a lot of people are moving during this pandemic. Absolutely they are. The pandemic's resulted in so many changes in our lives and one of those has been that our living situations may not work for us anymore. So many people um, are making that change. Yeah. Um, what are the COVID, like, moving during the pandemic and, and like with you move me, uh, what are the COVID protocols? How do you do it? Certainly. Well, we're being very cautious about that. Masks, masks are being worn um, and uh, just being really careful and letting people know that that we'll be socially distanced and uh, and everything is cleaned before we go to uh, to a new customer. I was looking forward to talking to you because I'm not moving right now, but I'm, I'm purging because I'd like to get a car into my garage. And uh, yeah. I'm the I, I it, it's hard because I get really sentimental over the over tech stuff. <laughs> like it's crazy. There's, I hate throwing stuff out. Yeah, yeah, I think I think we all do that. Of course, we get attached to items. So sometimes when we're moving, we really need to to separate, and like take a step back and go, do I actually use this thing? Do I really need to bring this to, to my new home? And uh, so that is one of the exercises that we recommend is, you know, try to take that step back and look at your stuff. And, and do I really need to go through the effort of, of packing this item up, wrapping it up and taking it, taking it to my new place? Okay, you have 10 key items we should leave behind or and possibly donate. So what, yeah. what, what's the things that we need to get out of our lives? <laughs> yeah, so my, my 10, 10, 10 items. It, they start with, uh, with ki kitchen items, so kitchen gadgets, because I think we've all had this experience where we've seen some like really exciting item that we think is gonna change our lives in the kitchen. We uh -huh. buy it, we bring it home, we use it once, and then it just goes into that cupboard. So going through your kitchen, looking for those things, um, you know, being honest with yourself, you're probably never going to use that item and, uh, and, and let that go. So that, that's number one. Um, okay, what, and one what's the best way of um, moving that stuff out? Like donating or um, an online marketplace or yes, into the driveway? So both of those things. It is a little harder right now because many of the uh, organizations that used to accept items are being a little more cautious about because of social distancing, taking items on. But you still can't find organizations that will take it. But certainly, as you said, you know, online marketplaces, that, that's always happening if you put items up there. Uh, or if you have even a bulletin board, if you're living in, a, in an apartment building, many have bulletin boards where you can post an item. And, uh, you know, people like to get stuff. People definitely like to get free stuff. So if you just let things go and you're not worried about getting compensation for them, you can find a home for most of your items. Okay, here's something I, I was hoarding forever, but actually recently donated a bunch of books, but books that we're not going to, you know, read again, you know, Get them out the door. Get them out the door, yeah, because I, I think we do get attached to books, especially ones that were impactful on us, but but we may never actually read them again. So And they're heavy, so you don't want to move more books than what you need to. So that's definitely something something to look at. Yeah, of course, you know, sometimes there's also, you know, the you, you want the big wall of books, you know, but then at, at some point, you know, you got <laughs> you to lighten you gotta it. You got to part with them. Yeah. yeah. Um, mismatched dishes. Yeah, it sounds like a bit of a funny one, but... You know, during our lives, especially when we combine houses with a partner or combine households, we end up with a whole bunch of dishes that don't go and they just stay piled up in our kitchen. Dishes are hard to pack as well because you need to wrap them. So have a look at those. Do you really need all the dishes? Are you going to have a 20 person dinner party? Probably not. Um, so get rid of the ones that, that don't go that don't go with your with your main dish set. Yeah, here's one that takes up a lot of room clothes. And I know I hoard clothes that I naively think I'm going to fit into again. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. We all we all do that. We're all guilty of that. Uh, yeah, the, the the next two on the list: shoes, shoes, and clothes. I look at those together. Um, definitely, we all have clothes that we're never going to wear. Something that we bought for a special occasion, a pair of shoes that we bought to go with a dress that we're probably never going to wear again. Uh, those, you know, especially shoes are not easy to pack. So you want to go through that, get rid of the ones that you're that you're not going to use again, um, and uh, and you know that can be a couple boxes that you don't end up packing if you if you are really honest with yourself, but particularly about shoes. Okay, and cleaning supplies pile up. Yeah, cleaning supplies do, and and sometimes we end up especially like half bottles and quarter right. bottles. And, and those are also a bit of a pain to pack because they can end up, you know, spilling. You could, God forbid, should you have bleach yeah. just over clothes. So I wish we had more time, but we'll link up you move me at chh.com. Thanks so much for taking some of the stress out of this for us. <laughs> Melanie Pump, good to see you.